Come with me to the Carnegie Science Center in downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania for their special summer exhibit, The Science Behind Pixar. Before heading to the main event, we explored the rest of the Science Center and found some very cute Pixar touches throughout the other exhibits. Our favorite was the Miniature Railroad, where they did real-life I Spy with Pixar characters throughout historic Pittsburgh. I thought this was so cool. I visited this display many times as a kid, but I haven't been in a while, so it was great to visit it again, but also get to see Pixar characters inside of it was very, very magical. They have a bunch of other Pixar events going on throughout the summer at the Science Center. They are showing movies and their special planetarium theater, which is pretty incredible. So if you're in the area, make sure you look at what showing dates there are. And if you stay in this miniature railroad exhibit long enough, you'll get to see it turn to nighttime, which was probably one of my favorite things, seeing all the little lights turn on. I could have stayed in here for so long. I love little miniature things, and Pixar characters are the best. And this is just part one, so make sure you follow along for part two, because there is much, much more to see. ka -chow! Part two of my visit to the Carnegie Science Center for the Science Behind Pixar exhibit. This is what we came for. It is a separate ticket purchase than your general admission to the rest of the Science Center, so just note that ahead of time. The exhibit starts out with this five-minute film that talks about the pipeline of animation and all the different roles and people it needs to make films happen. You then head into the first room, which contains exhibits for modeling and rigging. I like how each of the displays had one of these phones that you could actually listen to the text that was being shown. And this, this room was very, very overwhelming for me, so I really liked that, that you could just listen to the text, because it was hard to focus in on reading with all the other things happening. I got to model a few things, which was pretty fun, and my favorite part was seeing all the other models of characters that we know and love from Pixar, so that was really, really great. There's also some photo opportunities, so some other interactive elements, but my favorite parts were probably in the downstairs section, because it wasn't as loud and crazy, and there was a lot more things to do. One of our favorites was the services section where you got to make your own car hood from cars. And there was also a Wally -E section where you could learn about camera movements. But one of my other favorite parts was probably the lighting section, which was the last section. And I loved this little uphouse model with Carl and Ellie's chair. Where you could change the lighting, change the sunset. This was a super fun exhibit. I recommend going to check it out. I hope to see more pop-up Disney things like this in the future.